Gibbs and Don Pryor. How you doing? Here on the Todd of Don Show. Comic legend, uh, big screen legend, Jerry Stiller, dead at the age of 92. What a yeah. loss, man. Yes. What a great guy. Yeah. And uh, and kind of on stage until the very end, pretty much. Yeah, his son, Ben Stiller, also an actor, he confirmed the news uh, in, uh, in, in yesterday in a tweet. He's saying his father died of natural causes. It's the way to go. Uh, Stiller's comedy success spanned decades. Probably going back to uh, maybe the late 40s, or early 50s, I would think. Yeah, he and uh, his uh, wife, who passed away in 2015, uh, Helen Mirror, she, she, not Helen Mirror, uh, what was her, anyway. Ann. Okay. Ann Mirror, thank you. Uh, passed away in 2015. They were a great comic team, and um, he kept working. Todd, his, uh, here's, uh, of course, he was very well known for his character on uh, Seinfeld as Constan- Constanza's father, but to me, even funnier, his character is Arthur Spooner on King of Queens yep. for all those years. Just absolutely brilliant. He became a star brilliant. in the 60s with his wife uh, at the time, and then in the 90s with a reoccurring role on uh, on Seinfeld. Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. I reached for the last one they had, but so did another man. As I rain blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. What happened to the doll? It was destroyed. But out of that, a new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. There you go. Yeah, Festivus. classically trained actor. He appeared on uh, several Broadway shows as well. Yeah. Now, we lost another legend over the weekend. Little Richard. Woo! Dead at the age of 87. Uh, here he is. Look out in this yeah, Little Richard, cause of death, not known at Woo! this point. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame back in 1986. The Songwriters Hall of Fame back in 2003. I mean, uh, countless number one hits. Yeah. Countless. And I think he uh, he claimed till the day he died that he is the originator of rock and roll. What? He's the one. That's, well, he, he, well, I mean. Self-appointed. I mean, how can, uh, who, who did it first? Yeah. Who did it before him? Well, I, I don't know. Elvis Presley well, got it all from him. Yeah. Elvis Presley got the shaking and the performance from Little Richard. There, there are all kinds of uh, places I mean, you, you can look. But. Ser- seriously, you can't talk about Prince without talking about Little Richard. No, you cannot. You can't talk about Michael Jackson without talking about Little Richard. Mm-mm. You can't talk about... James Brown. Jerry Lee Lewis nope. without talking about Little Richard. No, certainly James Brown and... and Any uh, big performer that you see now on American Idol or The Voice, they're trying to do the same thing. Well, he was one of the early super flamboyant performers. I mean, he was great, obviously, but he he was a, a one of a kind at the time, very flamboyant. Heck, you can probably even uh, point to Freddie Mercury. You know, Absolutely. As, uh, Absolutely. Being influenced as far as just being out there. Is it true he wore more makeup than Zsa Zsa Gabor? I, I, man, he piled it on. Yeah. He piled it on. So uh, they're not going to have to do much work at the funeral home, I'm no. sure. He's probably pretty much prepped. Preserved. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but a uh, couple of legends there we lost over the weekend. Yeah, no doubt. So Austin Mayor Steve Adler, he says he's not ready to begin uh, going to businesses that have opened up. He's he's scared. So he's sitting at home. He is. Uh, still eating ramen noodles and living like it's the end of the world, the breathing apocalypse. In, breathing into He probably has an oxygen tank. I'm sure he does. Well. A cryo dome or something. Yeah, yeah. He's not ready to go out. He's not ready to leave it and visit a business right now. No, and he wants us to feel we're bad people for doing it. That That's yeah. bottom line. He, 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 he wants to shame some people. He does. How dare you support Austin's local economy and help these people get back on their feet. Well, over the weekend, them. he was pushing really hard for local restaurants to keep tabs on as many customers as possible Come when they walk on. in the door. Start making lists. Yeah. Like a, like a nice, good socialist fascist. Okay. Okay. Here he is. Here's the mayor. It's not an invasion of privacy. It's no. it's, it's, it's neighbors respecting one another. No, it's not. No. No. Of, of each other's no. lives. No, Mayor, shut the front door. It is an invasion. It's evasive. It's oppressive. It, it's not right. Yeah. It's something we don't do in a free country. Now, he says the city cannot force a restaurant to do this. You're damn right you can't. Uh, but he says it will help uh, with contact tracing of the infected people, which has become pretty controversial itself. Now, he says all of the information would be kept confidential uh-huh, and uh, could not be used by any or for any law enforcement purposes. That's what the mayor says. But we're going to shame you. We're going to make people talk about you. Yep. You know, I mean, the mayor saying this basically means local restaurants have to do this. They have to begin keeping a log because if they don't, 
then they're going to be on the blacklist, and the yeah. mayor's going to shame them. Yeah. And then there'll be some people that just won't go there because they they love the mayor. It's it's, it's yeah exactly. They're saying it's not required, but but we will blackmail you. We will do that. It's, it's dirty pool, man. It is, and he's also assuming that uh, all of us are going to be fine with it, and we should be fine with it, is what he's saying, and that we'll, we'll give the correct name. I hope they do ask for my name because I will say, yes, the name is Adler. Stephen Adler. Well, I mean, I guess the other way they could do it is if you're paying with a credit card, they got all your information. Oh, well, I got that, but if you're not and you're paying with cash, which probably most people aren't paying with cash right now because of the health concerns there, but... Uh, nonetheless, uh, they're going to have to, to, in order this for this to, to be effective at all, if it ever could, you would literally have to ask for proof of identification because I'm not going to go to a restaurant that does that. No, and and, it, and it, it, I'm I'm just not. Believe me, you're going to have more people that will resent the question and and having to do it uh, than not, and and so you're not going to get an accurate reading. It is useless. Let that go. And also. It's not practical uh, for restaurants to do that because they're busy. They're busy enough. They don't want to do that. They this. don't want to do it. I mean, I, I, they probably will because they want to do everything they can to be open, right? They're desperate, so they'll go, oh, okay, Mayor, we'll do it. Yeah. That's probably what will happen. But you're right. they got to ask for an ID and, and I guess a phone number, an email address. Yeah, Where to do you confirm live? it. Where do you live? What is your name? What is ever? And everybody at the table. Your kids, too. Yeah. Your kids. We're going to need your kids' names, your wife's name. Gonna need your ID, your phone number. How can we in, in an email address for you each would. one of you? You would for it to work. For it to work, you will have to have everybody at the table. Now, you went to uh, a restaurant over the weekend, and uh, I went to a few. Yeah, went and, to uh, Friday night. Went to the twenty twenty market up there in Georgetown. How which was, was that? Outstanding. You, you uh, took, I had the uh, porky pork chop. It looked absolutely gorgeous. It's the biggest damn pork. I didn't know they made hogs it, that big. It, it was shiny. I had no idea. Yeah, it was delicious. It looked gorgeous. Wife had the chicken fried steak. That's her go to. Good for her. Good uh, for her. Cocktails are great. They got a great bar. It's a uh-huh. really cool place. Uh huh. So uh, how many people? How how big was your party? I'll be honest. Well, we had four people at our table, total of four. But uh, you know, there's all these restaurants are supposed to be twenty five percent capacity. Yeah, this one was more. You think? Oh, this one was well above fifty percent. That was just my perspective, my opinion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was busy. Not a busy Friday night, but they were busy. They did have some empty tables, of course, for spacing. But, well, uh, of course were, they were busy because you and I talked about them a lot on Friday. Oh my gosh, so, it was just uh, outstanding. Therefore. Let's squeeze in John real quick in North Austin. John, I only got about 30 seconds. What's on your mind? Hey, John. Sure, yeah. Mayor Adler definitely needs to be recalled. He traveled around the country, you know, visiting his elitist friends. Mm. He's so out of touch with working class, middle class, you know, even the poor. And they, they chirping in his ear probably, having him, encouraging him to push this kind of socialist agenda. And, and I know he's moving in, his buddy. Oh, listen, uh, John. We, John, we never want to go, let a good tragedy go to waste. Uh, uh, make it work for we you. Got to get what they're going there. Yes. Get what they need there. Learn how to use it. Hey, uh, there's a group representing the Austin School District teachers and employees. They're petitioning uh, the school board for a big pay raise for the teachers, so they can get through this pandemic. Yeah. Uh, we'll explain straight ahead on the Todd and Don show. The Todd and Don show. Hey.